Amabungane reports that Ramatlodi said he met with Molefe and Ngubane in 2015 at the chairperson's insistence. They allegedly demanded that he suspend all Glencore's mining licenses in South Africa, pending the payment of a penalty of almost 3 billion rand. Ramatlodi said he refused because he was concerned that closing down 14 coal mines would have added to the load shedding crisis. In the same year, Glencore placed Optimum coal mine under protection from creditors. It later sold it to Tegeta Exploration and Resources, a firm which the Gupta brothers control. My office told me that there was a broadcast on 702 where the minister claims that we, I don't know whether he said we forced him or what, but he claims something that's impossible. We can't instruct a minister what to do. We take our problems to ministers. We ask for help. We've done that with the Treasury, with our own minister, with DOE, with DMR, when we have problems. Now, to, for a minister to claim that we actually made him take a decision about something is preposterous.